Do you imagine how fantastic a computer program that is, that in an instant, the brain can see those letters, run the files to determine what's in there that fits that pattern and That's makes correct. sense, and then relay it to the interpretive area to be expressed. Uh, it's astounding, because there are many words that begin with A and end in G, and we're not counting these letters, but the mind counts those. Uh, position isn't spelled P-T-O-I-S-I-O-N, but the mind instantly picks it up. You can just glance difficulty. Just glance, without knowing the full context, your brain remembers what you just read a moment ago, what you calculated, and it makes the application. Now to your medical science. You have been able to apply these bits and pieces, some of them in contradistinction to what you were taught, but taking advantage of all that excellent education that you did have and passed on to others. Your mind was able to take the bits and the pieces, put them together, make an application. And while that's true in the positive sense, I have dear friends who've gone through severe depression, some suffering this very moment with severe depression uh, because of their negative response to these conditions that you've described. So this long litany of maladies that were challenges you have personally experienced and suffered. There came a point in my life where I was in such turmoil between having one foot in the Bible yes. and what God says yes. about the human creation and one foot in the traditional medical model based upon the evolutionary context of man yes. and struggling myself and saying this isn't helping very much, uh, making, seems to be making things worse in my instance where I prayed to God. I said, God, if you will show me how to truly help people be well, I will look at anything and everything, no matter how strange it sounds on, and how strange yes. it looks on and, the and surface to my medically trained ears. Yes. And if I can be assured of two things, if I can, to my own satisfaction, understand a mechanism of why this works, and number two, know that I cannot possibly harm anyone, I will offer it. Beautiful, and you've benefited so many people. During these last moments of the broadcast, I want to share with you something, uh, just in a nutshell. You've been to the Creation Evidence Museum many times. Uh, you and I have sat together for hundreds of hours discussing uh, world conditions, discussing the creation model as opposed to the evolutionary model. Uh, I have discussed various fossils and the human body, and uh, I listen to you. I do listen. And I, uh, I'm in better health now because of some of the advice that you gave. You haven't been to the museum for the last few months, but we're now in possession of a wonderful door that was fabricated in Basra. A portion of this door, two of the columns, two of the pillars, Yaquim and Boaz, date back to the 6th century A.D. At the base of these ancient pillars, the door was refurbished in the mid-1800s. But at the base of these ancient pillars, there are two boxes, two chests. Now, the, and during the Saddam Hussein regime, the Jews in that area were pressured to the point where nothing remained but the front of the synagogue, one old Jewish man. He took this material, fabricated it in the bed of a cart. A younger man drove that cart, pulled by a donkey, through Iraq, through Iran to India, then by ship it went to Israel and then to the Creation Evidence Museum on long-term loan. In this base, on each side, are scrolls dating back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, giving the blessings and the cursings. Now, with your medical practice, let's observe in this moment, in chapter 28, we have the blessings that apply to medicine, to the environment, to the response to the product of our children, to the health of our children. And we've been talking about that on the program today. The environment affects that. Misdiagnosis affects that. But God provided the means, the natural means, for the cities and the farms to be successful with the blessings in Deuteronomy 28.
production of children, harvesting large crops, nutrient crops, plenty to eat, the livestock responding, and so forth. Then, the latter part of the chapter shows that if, if we do not have the right relationship with God, not only does depression set in, but we make bad judgments and bad decisions so that we end up with what our generation is experiencing. Here, cities and farms failing, not enough to eat, production of fewer children and they're mal malnourished, harvest small without nutrition, livestock have very few young, efforts are confused, terrible diseases, uh, fever, swelling, pain, oozing sores, crusty patches on skin, all of this was listed and you could diagnose these things. We have an entire generation that is now experiencing maladjustment because primarily of lack of relationship and companionship with the Creator. Thus, we have a depressed generation. We have a generation that's maladjusted in the diagnosis and the prescription. It's not more money. It's not more government. It's not even more medicine. Primarily, it's a relationship internal. That brings me to a solution. As Dr. Peterson has indicated very clear solutions to common struggles we all have. There is a struggle common to all of us called sin. But God did something about it. He sent his son to live among us, to go to Calvary, to die for us, to be buried, to rise again. And at this moment, God's son, Jesus Christ, is knocking at your heart's door. Would you simply pray this prayer Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Step into my heart right now, this moment. I want you to be my Savior. Cover my sins with your blood. I receive you right now. And since I've received you, I'm your son. I'm now home. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Creation in the 21st Century is a unique program on TBN combining biblical knowledge with scientific verification. Much of the information that I use on the program is available. Contact us. Just write Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, or call us at 254-897-3200. We look forward to hearing from you today.